We're going to simplify this expression, so we're going to break things up underneath the radical to make this easier to work with. So our first one, we can turn into the square root of 16 times x squared times x times y squared. And then our second one, I'm just going to leave alone for now, so that's just minus the square root of 9x. Now going back to our first part, the square root of 16 you know is 4. And then you've got the square root of x squared, so the square root and the square are going to cancel out, so that leaves us with just x. Same thing with the y, and then you've got a square root of x left. Now over here, the square root of 9 is 3, and then underneath the radical, you've still got x. So since both of these things are being multiplied by the square root of x, we can combine what's in front of them. So we have 4 times the absolute value of x times y minus 3, all multiplied by the square root of x. And since the directions say that our variables are non-negative, then we can go ahead and remove that absolute value, giving us 4 times x times y minus 3 times the square root of x.